The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Well, folks, if there were any doubt that the royal family eats their young, it's in the, it's in the news in the UK. You can't find a, anything in the, in the paper or on the TV about this, but uh, Prince Andrew has lost all of his titles, okay? He's lost all of his roles in the military. He's lost all of his money. She's cut him off uh, at the knees. So he is persona non grata. I mean, and that's her son. God help her if it was her husband. <laughs> all right, let's take a quick look here. We're waiting for JC. Hey, um, oh, thanks. Thanks a lot, Basil. Uh, anyway, let's take a look here uh, at this. Folks, giving you an example of what news is like. January, uh, remember when uh, Chappaquiddick happened and uh, and the president or Senator Ted Kennedy got in, in trouble with uh, Mary Jo Kopechny and she died? That was on page five of the New York Times. There was a reason for that. That was July 20th, 1969. That's the day we landed on the moon. Everything was about the moon. That was on page five of the New York Times. So the news is really controlled a lot. And believe me, they're strong. Our, our administration is a strong uh, a, a figurehead of the uh, or, uh, what I, I, come, I don't know what the word is, but uh, they go along with what's happening in London with the royal family. So that's why you're not seeing anything in it. But it's a big deal in Australia. It's a really big deal in the UK. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention that these news things are total baloney. Now, yesterday when we were talking about uh, some of the things that I had learned, ah, we've got Mr. J.C. Parrots coming on from All Star Charts pretty soon, I think. I see the charts coming into the room. Folks, we're really lucky to have this young man. You remember his name because he's going to be very, very famous. He's already famous. He's going to be even more super famous. I can promise you that. I, I'm really impressed with what he does, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, talk to him pretty soon. J.C., are you there? I certainly am, Larry. Hey, hey, thank you, buddy. I really appreciate it. Why don't you tell us, the folks, what you're looking at today? And we really appreciate your time because I know you're super busy with all the things that you do. So tell the folks what you're looking at. It's another day, Larry. A lot of charts, a lot of good music, uh, maybe some tacos later, some good wine. I'm a <laughs> guy. I don't need much. Uh, you know, rates are going up and people are yes, freaking out. Are. I, 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 I find it. Hilarious. Uh, you know, I live in the United States, very close to New York City. You know, I lived in California for five years. I am surrounded by individuals who their home country bias oozes out of them. You know, everything in their world is high growth, tech, you know, United States centric. Screw the rest of the world. Screw commodities. Screw energy. High growth, high growth, high growth. And those same people are just very, very frustrated in an environment where interest rates are going up and those investments tend to underperform while the rest of the world uh, that it has much more exposure to some of these cyclical areas like uh, banks, like energy, uh, like commodities, natural resources, industrials, materials are outperforming those high growth areas in a rising rate environment, which uh, if you look at the bond market, we are obviously in uh, and I just, um, you know, as an observer of markets and market participants, I can't help but notice the frustration out of these Americans with their home country bias. <laughs> That's the understatement of the year. <laughs> Go ahead, my friend. Australia, Larry, and, and, and sentiment is at a point currently uh, that is very different than when we came into last year. And for that matter, when we came into the year before, 2019 was a heck of a year for U.S. investors and they came into 2020 super bullish right before COVID and completely got crushed. And then we bounced back quick. They came into 2021 super bullish. What happened? All those growth names peaked in February. Biotechs, Chinese Internet, uh, all those uh, growth areas, the ARC funds, the IPO index, all peaked in February. Small caps, micro caps struggled for the majority of the year um, and therefore came into this year 
the most bearish and pessimistic that we've seen in years. Uh, and I think that's a bullish catalyst for stocks. Mm -hmm. Certainly could be. How do you feel about that, Larry? Uh, well, I think we're in for a little short-term correction. Whether it's a long-term correction or not I re re remains to be seen. But, uh, you know, Everybody I'm a short-term short swing trader. You know, I, I'm more concerned about how much I risk, not about how much I'm going to make. But uh, we've done okay from the short side the last couple of days. But uh, that could end in a moment, you know. You know, I'm looking at these the natural resources. You know, look at things like metals yep. and mining, Freeport McMoran, copper, oil yep. holding above 80. These energy stocks breaking out, financials breaking yep. out, you know, materials in general, particularly the base metals. The precious metals can't get going. Nobody wants those rocks. But the, the base metals uh, continue to act well. Aluminum, the stocks, they look very different than these growth areas. And when you look at the composition of some of these other countries around the world, particularly Latin America, you look at areas in Europe, they are very, look at UK, for example. UK has four times the exposure to natural resources than the United States. And you know what their exposure to technology is in the UK? Less than 1%. So you can't, you could, you, you have a hard time finding a more different market. Um, and this isn't some small little emerging market. This is the United Kingdom. This is a big market and it's completely different than what you're seeing in the United States and the outperformance is quite obvious. And and why? Well, I, I love looking at your charts with your uh, cup and handles and head and shoulders patterns that you have in there. That's really cool. I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, my uh, my daughter went to school with uh, the folks over at uh, – uh, with uh, Bill O'Neill, and uh, as a matter of fact, <laughs> I, well, that was her first boyfriend was uh, Bill's Bill's son, and uh, she actually uh, goes with him again. So it's really quite quite funny. <laughs> that is hilarious. That yeah, is really is. funny. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what's on my mind. Uh, cryptocurrencies, I think, uh, hanging in okay. Uh, if you want to take a look at that real quick, I think that's an interesting scenario. Go up yeah, tell, show us what you're looking at there, because I, I am very interested in the cryptos, because I think that's going to be – I mean, that's they're, they're here to stay, in my opinion. I don't think this is a bubble. I mean, bubbles go up and down. They don't stay for 12 years, you know, so you know, I think that, that this is going to be pretty exciting. I'd, I'd like to buy this stuff down around 25000 but they don't always do what I want to do. Yeah, agreed. Um, for me, I, I have, I'm hard-pressed to believe this is a bubble if the price of Bitcoin is at the same price it was a year ago. Right? Yeah. Some bubble looks more like a consolidation and a digestion of former gains, if you ask me. The question becomes, how long will this digestion last? And, you know, just this chart alone, I think, really tells an interesting story because you got former resistance, right, mm -hmm. in early 2021, right around 41,000. We broke through there, hit that 65, came back down. The crash really precipitated when it broke back below 41, retested that level on the bounce, ultimately back again this summer, sold off, ultimately broke again. All of that former resistance turned into support. Classic polarity. Same stuff Edwards and McGee were writing about in the 1940s. We came yeah. back in the fourth quarter, retested that level, and now here we are again, Larry, once again, back at the scene of the crime. I think if we can hold that 41, retest of 65 is inevitable, uh, but break below 41 I think will be critical. I think 30 is a near certainty, and most likely probably 20 after that. So 41 is really important. Yeah. Hey, JC, thanks for joining us today, buddy. I know you got to do your Twitter show coming up, but we'll have you on again soon. And may God bless and stay on the green side of the grass. You got it, Larry. Thanks for having me, God, buddy. Brother. Thank you very much, folks. Juan Carlos Perez, L-Star Charts, folks. You cannot miss. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I posted a chart of the SMH, which is the semiconductors. If you notice the bottom, the early bottom that came in around 11 o'clock when we started the show yesterday, I wasn't aware of this until after the close, but it was brought to my attention by the gentleman that I've been working with for over 27 years over in Switzerland, and he showed me this, and the key to that was you'll notice that the SMH rallied up to the 382, and then you can see the moves down. I'm not going to spend much time on this chart because I want to get to the point of what I'm trying to reach and that is over the years folks i've been doing this for a very long time i started my really heavy study back in 62 63 when i was uh, just getting out of uh, college and uh, got into my mba and then i really started getting into it you know our 60s but i've done a lot at least 55 years i've been doing this i thought i knew everything back in 1988 I was in Switzerland. If you remember, I told you about this banker deal, and I was in Zurich, and I was in, being interviewed by the uh, European version of the Wall Street Journal by their uh, Zurich co correspondent, who was Beatrice Schaffhausen. She was absolute. She was a model, and she was absolutely gorgeous. And uh, so we spent about three hours being interviewed and stuff. And I was using every move I had. None of them worked. And then she said, "You know, you're wasting your time." And I said, "Yeah, I figured that." And she says, "I'll." I'll I'll introduce you to my boyfriend she said when we leave and so we went through all this stuff and so we went down into the lobby and there's there's five or six it looked like the secret service you know folks it was a secret service she was a mistress of francois mitterrand the, the dude from france he was the king of france whatever he is over there i don't know what it is but anyway i got to meet him and say hello and everything went back to my room and i i i was trading and all the things that i were in was in that day i got stopped out of all of them and I figured out what I did wrong, and I had my stops in. The market reversed right after I got stopped out. And I got stopped out at the exact 1.27 of those numbers. I didn't know what those were until about three months later when I met Bryce Gilmore in Chicago. One of my students came up to me and says, you got to come in and listen to this guy. So I went into the room. As I walked into the room, Bryce saw me. I'd never met him before. He had seen my picture. And he said, hey, Pesavento's in the room. Come up here, young man. He said, sit down. You might learn something. And everybody was like, laughing, which was, you know, it was a big joke. So I went, I sat right in the front. And after 10 minutes, I was flat blown away. I saw that the 1.27, the expansion, what it was, and I knew what that was. I knew, I, I didn't know what 127 was. And I didn't know what 786 was. I mean, the square roots of 618 and 1.618. I mean, doing these numbers, I don't know this. Well, what's happened to me this week, folks, 
is the same thing. What I'm looking at when I look at that SMA chart, he showed me some things that I'm going to share with you later in the year. But uh, he asked me to do the work myself. He's learned from somebody that uh, taught him. And so what I did was I he said, pick pick seven or eight things that are really crazy today and check and see how it works. Just, you know, it, there's certain parameters that you have to use and everything. Folks, every single one, eight for eight, there was soybeans, there was wheat. The S&P, you're not going to believe this. We've had a big swing in the S&P, right? We had a high last yesterday at, what, 47.30? Okay, and you came down and you made a new bag, bang down low and we rallied up 60 handles. Why don't you do the work yourself and see where that rally stopped? I did nine of these today. I didn't do them. I watched what they were doing. Folks, this is something really exciting. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, I, I, I know I'm only, I've only looked at a few samples, but my goodness, I haven't been excited about something like this in a very, very long time. I'll share a couple of them with you because I think it's that important. And I know I'm not really worried about it because most of you are not going to do the work yourselves, so that's not a problem at all. So let's get this up here. This is the one from... Uh, uh, early this uh, yesterday, I believe. Let's get this up here. I wanted to get this to your attention here. Hold on one second. And there's where we were yesterday. This was yesterday's. Uh, you'll see when we were on the when we were on the line there between 11 and 12 o'clock. You see we went up and rallied uh, right around 11:30 up there at 47.20, which was a 61 percent retracement. And I I mentioned I said if it goes below that low at 46.95, we're going to go down hard. And we did. And look what we did. Yes, right on the close we rally up to 4,700. And you know where we went today? We made another A B C D down there. At uh, 47, woo, way, way, way down there. Boys and girls, let me let me give you a 10 cents worth of advice. If the market closes really badly today, it doesn't make any difference. If it closes near the low, you ought to be short something in the in the stock indices, whatever you can afford. The uh, the Dow Jones or the Na well, not the Nasdaq is too wild, but the Dow Jones or the uh, S and P because this is setting up for a very, very nasty day coming in on Tuesday. Remember, we have a holiday coming. Coming in on Monday, so the markets will be open Sunday night, and they'll probably be open a little bit there too. So we'll be able to see uh, what we're doing. Ruby, I'd be really careful about those rebuys on these puppies. This this has got a lot of downdraft to it, darling. Okay, let's take another one. Here's look at this. Now, you're not you're not going to believe this one because I I know you won't, but this is a case. Here's yesterday's action. This uh, from last yesterday's high. Okay, this is a 15-minute chart. You can see 11 o'clock in the morning. We were making a 382 retracement when the S&P was making a 61. Perfect 382, 15,825 to the tick. Breaks one more time, makes another 382, 15,700, and then last night it made another one at 15,050 and went down and broke all the way down below 15,300 or whatever it was, and then it rallied. It rallied like there was never going to be another bear market. And guess what? Do the work yourself, boys and girls. I ain't going to help you that much. You know, <laughs> I don't know. I just think this is really interesting in what we're looking at. I mean, some of the things that Shane uh, shared with us on Monday were was really spectacular. You have to know that with these uh, different things that he was watching, and they're certainly p falling through. And remember, he's mentioned, you know, the Fed is not out there trying to protect their uh, their uh, their quorum anymore. And you never know what they're doing. I mean, they could be heavily short the market. You don't know what they're they were They were short the market during 1920 during the crash for heaven's sake so you can find that in the book uh, reminis not reminiscence of a stock operator but my own story by Bernard Baruch it's in that area so we were watching that now here's one even even more exciting and we shared a little bit of that yesterday and that was this is the uh, this is the e-mini uh, let's try it again Larry this is the natural gas let's get this up here there's the natural gas from that high that we made back there. And look at the 382s, folks. This is one day's action. The the the, the red line happens to be the AI. But look at look at the 382s on this thing. Give me a break. Do the work yourself. <laughs> this is one hell of a thing. I mean, I and I've been doing this for so long. And I, but you know, I, I know as much about Fibonacci as, you know, 
probably half the people anyway. But it's very interesting to see this uh, happening. Now, someone's asked a question about the heating oil fact that it went up and made new highs. One of the things that you do when you're watching these things, remember, we were looking at 262 yesterday. And what we did was we were watching a 15-minute chart. We had a really nice break. We went from 262 all the way down to 258. That was four handles, 1500 bucks. And then we went up and made a new high at the 1.618 last night at 264 and a half. And we backed off a little bit from that level. So that's what we're doing right now and watching it. I'm sorry, Ruby, for, for uh, butting in, but by golly. Uh, I think you're using a stop, so you got that one in the right handle. No question about it. It looks pretty good. Now, since we watch the uh, Dow Jones uh, quite a bit here, I wanted to oh, – well, we've got to take a break. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the uh, E-mini uh, to go through yesterday's action, and I you can see what's happened today, but I wanted you to notice on this chart that the bottom there, the 1.618 expansion, that held for well over four or five hours last night. And then, of course, this morning it broke down very hard, made a new low by 
considerable amount. And from that level, if you'll do the work yourself, check and see what the 382 retracement was today. I think you'll be surprised. All right, let's move on to something else that uh, people are interested in these days, thinking of TLT and stuff. Here is the Treasury bond. If you remember, we were looking for a buy down there on the 10th on Sunday. And the buy came in, of course, on Monday the 11th. And you'll notice we, oh, excuse me, Monday the 10th. And if you'll take a look at this, we've had a perfect three drive to a top pattern up here. Two full handles, what we expected it to do. You can see we have a little Gartley that had formed here uh, earlier today. But that was a three drive to a top pattern it reached the profit objective that we were looking for so that's another pattern nothing more than a simple a b c d this one happens to be perfect uh, if you don't believe that just go look at the just take your a leg and measure your b leg measure your c leg coming down to 786 measure your expansion up to 1.27 count the look at the bars just count the bars this is a 15 minute chart you'll see that they they're equal in other words the a b leg is equal in time and the a b leg is equal time and price i mean this is this is an absolute perfect three drive to a top pattern you cannot miss it the first top comes in at uh, you know the 1.617 the second one comes in at 1.27 i mean that's just perfect when you've got everything lined up does it work hey i'm going to show you one that doesn't work in just a second but this is one that works just absolutely perfectly now since we're talking about things that do work let's see one that doesn't work and believe it or not i i i know you're going to find this hard to believe but the gentleman that i'm talking to over in switzerland he gets all my stuff he has for many many years and he saw the short that i put on with uh jp or excuse me with uh what the heck was it wells fargo I was selling Wells Fargo, and actually the price was 56.72 with a buy stop at 58.40. I was alerted to the fact that the uh, S, that the Dow, <laughs> there were going to be earnings for Wells Fargo today. There were five bank earnings today, folks. All of them were about the same. Everything was about 10 percent. Only one of the five went nuts. And guess which one it was? Yep. I just got stopped. I'm, I didn't do this trade. I just put this on for purposes of you know what I'm trying to show in risk control. But 58.40. That was a dollar 70. Okay. The reason why I came up with a dollar 70. I'm not risking more than three percent on anything that I do. I, I, I just not in my not in my cards. The reason for that was the mathematics behind what I do, which is you know brought out in the floor traders handbook over and over again, is that you got a, a chance of winning on these trades better than 62 percent okay and the payoff is better than three to one and that that gives you a sharp ratio you know out out of sight so that's that's why it's so important i'm willing to take that three percent risk now maybe monday tuesday i'll be re reinstating to looking at that but he told me he said it's gonna it's gonna take your stop out he said and i i and i said i said okay if it does no big deal i didn't know what the earnings were going to be but the fact that he told me that with all this stuff he's been telling me i said well i gotta pay close attention to this stuff anyway anyway we'll keep a look keep an eye on some of these things as we keep moving on now i do want to uh talk just a tiny bit what JC was talking about and that was the the Bitcoin folks the real key price level uh, two there's two really key price levels uh, 46,000 on the upside and 40,000 on the downside if we get any higher you know is uh, uh, <laughs> I'm never bored uh, oh dear Oh, they're, 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 somebody Skyped me that they're troop replacements or someplace. I don't know what that f fundamental stuff is. Okay, uh, the Bitcoin, 46000 on the upside is very important because that's the 382 off of the high of 52000 So if we don't get above 46000 during this time, but if we go below 40000 folks, you're looking at $25,000, most probably in Bitcoin. And the way some of these things are acting, if we close really badly today in the stock market, I mean, about, you know, down four or five hundred points in the Dow, you know, down 80, 90 in the S&P and maybe down three, four hundred more in the, in the NASDAQ. If that happens and if that happens, look out because Monday is going to be you're going to be closed on uh, Monday 
and you're going to come in on Tuesday, and these markets are not going to open higher. That's the way. That's the way I look at it. I that's my two cents, and I'm sticking to it. I don't know what the markets are doing right now. Whether they're holding up okay. They've uh, never made new lows in some of these things, which is good. So that's it. We'll be able to pay very, very close attention to these things as we go through and look at some of these things as we're moving on and on. All right. Now we've got the gold uh, coming down. We've been up. And we've been watching. Notice, folks, that the uh, the <laughs> I got to do something for Mr. Z here. We we got down to eighteen sixteen in the gold. We we think we got a chance at eighteen oh nine maybe on Sunday. And we'll be able to see if that's going on, and we'll have a pretty good idea of uh, what's what's happening with that. Also, uh, on that those Treasury notes that we were long, we we suggested today. Uh, or yesterday, I believe that you know we're really close to those. Sh looking at that bond chart, that we were area where, you know, we had to have a profit in it. So you certainly uh, had had a nice little profit in that one. So that's a key one. But I got to show Mr. Z this one. I I he has to see this. I hope Mr. Z you're watching, because I know you like the beanies, okay? And I did this long before it opened. So here is the pattern that I was looking at, Mr. Z. There's the ABCD pattern after the report. You see, per, just like that heating oil, exactly the same pattern, no difference. A, B, C, D, the market breaks from $14 down to $13.64, down $0.36, cents, and the high today was supposed to be thirteen seventy-seven and three quarters. The high was thirteen eighty, and we went all the way down to thirteen sixty-five. So that's why on these shorter term time frames, you got to pay attention to this if you want to. You don't have to if you don't want to, but if you do, I highly suggest it. I'm going to be doing a, a day trading webinar here coming up in probably late February, early March, and this is going to be uh, the 100%, well, not 100%, it's going to be probably 70% of the theme, and then I'm also going to be working on how to show you folks how to do some of these artificial intelligence you know, pictures yourself, because you can do it, because the market repeats over and over again. That's why when this gentleman uh, over in Switzerland uh, – <laughs> He's got a funny name. When he told when he when he told me what he was doing, I thought I'd seen everything, just like I did before I met Bryce. I thought I'd seen everything. It wasn't until I saw Bryce and and I started meeting him in '88 all the way through '94. He came to Tucson a few times, but for six years he came to to the the house in in Pismo Beach and stayed for one, two, three months at a time. Mark would come and stay a month at a time, and other people would come in too. But I learned a lot from him just by watching that. I never had a losing day with Bryce in the room because his work was so uh, intense that uh, yeah i had losing trades but i didn't have any losing days and i'm you know basically i look at smaller time frames to make a living you know i'm a shopkeeper someday i have bacon for sale someday i have uh, socks someday i have uh, you know women's hats it just depends on which looks good to me and that's one of the things that uh, i was looking for yesterday uh, we were talking about this one on the air and i'll talk about this when we get back this is the natural gas from yesterday folks and we'll talk about this one when we come back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted that chart of the, the natural gas. I just wanted to show you what happened yesterday. Remember, it had gone up $7,000 on Wednesday. On Thursday, what did it do? It gave it all back. In fact, kept going lower and lower. We're getting close to something that could be very interesting in natural gas here, folks. Give me a, give me a second here, and I will bring it up. If you remember here, uh, just a few months ago, well, it was one month ago, shut the front door. We were looking for this big ABCD pattern to complete in the natural gas down around the 350 area. The low was uh, 353. Now, we had this huge run up yesterday, as you can see here, and then the run down again today. Believe it or not, folks, we were trading at, I believe, four. 12 or something earlier in the day but what what is really interesting about the natural gas now is if you'll uh, break it down to just a little bit we'll be able to see it here i think i'll be able to see it i've approached the chart here somewhere now where did you put it cowboy uh that's not it this is it here's what we want to see okay here's the last several days Going back uh, last, well, it's last two and a half weeks, I guess, three, two and a half months. Here is the move here that we had in the natural gas. You can see yesterday we went from uh, four, uh, four, 420 all the way up to 486. 488 was the high. We went from 488 and we come down. Now look where we are. Look where we're trying to get to, folks. Right around this 405, 403 level. That's going to be where the old highs were back in here before we made new lows. And it's also going to be a 61% retracement level. So that's going to be a pretty good chance. Now, we've come down really hard here in two days. I mean, this is 12, 13, 14. Two days, we've gone, we've gone up. We've gone up 7,000 and come down 7,000. This is not for the faint of heart. So what you have to do is you got to be able to find out a spot where you're going to find out whether you're going to be risk controlled about. And that's what we're looking at. Um, <laughs> uh, the only thing boring the only, the only boring thing is, is your trading style consists yeah it is boring you don't have to listen to me much anymore boys and girls hold on just a second here let's get back here we got another question someone's asking I think do we have someone calling in uh, do I trade not daily but just about four days a week yes four days a week on the natural gas it's one of the better ones to trade for it's basically just like pork bellies used to be I don't know what that stuff you know I, I you know I really don't know the units all I know that at each tick is worth 10 bucks that's all I need to know so 
that's uh, that's pretty much uh, what I watch. But uh, it, it trades beautifully. Well, oh, you can see it. I mean, well, I've posted so many of these darn charts. You you, should, you know you, to, you could be able to you know write a book about the darn stuff. Look at the. Well, I showed you the other one the other day, but this is a this is a what we're trying to do is to line things up. One other thing I wanted to mention here, getting off the track yesterday, if you remember, we were talking about with the Dow being up 150 yesterday, and the Nasdaq being down 200. It was because of stocks like Boeing. You see, Boeing had this. Uh, it went through the 382 retracement there, but. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Shane. <laughs> there's going to be there's going to be a, there's going to be a revolt. I think, oh, boys and girls, let's move on here. Anyway, when you see a stock like this and the Dow up so much and the rest of the stocks down, it's because one or two of the high price stocks are tough. That's why the Dow sometimes is a little little squirrely because you got one or two stocks in there that are making the Dow move. You know, hey, folks, if you want to see a real bearish chart, go look at Walt Disney. Go look at Walt Disney. It, it, just look at the ABCD that we just completed at the 3A2. Disney's got big problems. I don't know where they're coming from, but they got big problems. I don't care about their draft kings or all that other stuff. Look at that chart of Walt Disney. That is not a good chart. It is not a good chart. It just flat out isn't. We got a break coming up here, and if I got a chance, I will bring that up. By the way, if you have any questions, you can call us at 877-927-6648. Oh, Al says don't even bother right now because the lines are just backed up. Maybe you'll get through to us on Monday, and we'll be able to uh, be able to answer the questions there. But I will do that chart on Disney because it's just an absolute uh, bearish chart. There's no question about it here. Let's just move here if we have any questions. We've got a break coming in four minutes, but I don't want to uh, break anything up. You know what I could do since this is our show, and we're going to do this right now. Hold on one second here. Uh, Jim Bartolioni is going to be our guest, I believe, on Tuesday, boys and girls. And I'm going to I'm going to do this right now. This chart on Disney, unless it's changed, is so bearish that we, and, hey, Walt Disney's like Muck McDonald's, man. That's just uh, Mother God and Country stuff. So let me get the old chart up here of the old Disney Reno, and we'll see what we've got here. And uh, we'll go from that level right here. Okay, what are we doing here? Okay, all right. Hold on one second here, and let me get this up here for old Walt Disney here. Uh, that's D-I-S, as I recall. Let me see where we are. Yeah, I, to me, and hey, I could be wrong. I might have looked at a different chart, but I don't think so. No, I haven't done it. Oh, no wonder. Hello. Gee whiz. All right, you'll be able to see this in just a second. Hold on. Uh, this is worth the price of admission, boys and girls, so just give me a second. I saw it here last night. Oh, my goodness, you'd never believe this. Hold on, and then we'll be up. We'll be to you in about 30 seconds or less, so all i got to do now is to come up, and i got to change the scale of the settings. Only takes a minute here, getting a little more better at this as I go through these late years of the old... Life, hold on a second here, and where are we? All I got to do now is find that little puppy, and it'll be here somewhere. Where is it? Walt Disney, 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 everywhere. Oh, there it is. Nope, that's not it. Chart, 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 chart. It's got to be under chart. There it is. There it is. Disney. Here we go. Now, take a look at this chart. You want to see a bearish chart? This is the old program with the old ABCD, boys and girls. There it is right there. You'll see it. There's your 382. There's your ABCD. That was about a week ago. Today, the cat's out of the bag. It's from 160 to 149. There's a perfect Gartley pattern and a 382. I mean, it's just spot on at 160, you know. Now, the, the one I looked at with uh, Wells Fargo, you know, that one, that you got, you got to take a 3% loss. But look at that one. You see, that's a very interesting. Something's wrong with, with Walt Disney, folks. I don't know what the problem is, but there's a, there's a, there's trouble in, uh, what do they call that place? Fantasyland or whatever it is. Uh, <laughs> used to love that place. My favorite place was the Pirates of the Caribbean and uh, the uh, one with the uh, little house. What's the one with the little 
Small World. The Small World was one of my uh, one of my really big favorites. At that we used to go there all the time. The Magic Kingdom. We were at, with Drexel. One of the biggest perks we had at Drexel, folks. If you were the leader in, in your group for making money that month, one of the things that you got is you got a birthday day at the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, which was Mr. Walt Disney's private residence and they turned it into a beautiful place for parties and stuff and uh, Cinderella and Mickey Mouse and Minnie and Pluto all the gang would be there and you know, they'd be giving uh, gifts out and having the cake and everything as the people were writing the things through the Pirates of the Caribbean that was a big deal when you had a, a birthday at Disneyland everything pri- private plus you had a badge that you walked in front of all the lines and you didn't have to wait in line at Disneyland Not so many lines anymore. Hey, we'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine. Capricorn. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, I've posted a chart here of the NASDAQ on the weekly basis. You can see here that we topped about seven weeks ago uh, back in uh, 
uh, when was that? That was way back in December sometime, December 5th, I believe, 6th or 7th, 7th, I believe. We've had a little bit of a break now. We're getting ready to take out these lows here. In fact, we already have, and we're going to find out whether we hold up or not as we go. But as I mentioned before, if we close really badly today, I mean, down like 300 points, in the, more than 300 points, more than making new lows on the Dow, new lows on the S&P, new lows on the NASDAQ, you don't want to be long stocks. You don't have to be short, but you don't want to be long any of your stocks. You tighten up your stops any way you want to. These folks out there have not, re Kathy Woods and all these other people, they've not experienced these really vicious bear markets that occur every so often. We're beginning to see them. I mean, we've we've already pointed out, you know, these markets are just not reacting well to the news at all. We have good news and the markets, you know, react poorly. Uh, with the exception of Wells Fargo. But anyway, that's the uh, main thing that we're paying attention here to do is to see that. And also, we got interest rates are going higher. It has nothing to do with the stocks, but has to do with the bond market. You know, the two ways that you can, you know, get rid of bonds, there's only one way. There's only two ways for the government's going to be able to get through this bond fiasco that we printed all those bonds. One is by hyperinflation. OK, that's coming. You can see it in gold and all these other things, too. The second thing is, is they could renege against the currency and they're not going to do that. So it's going to be hyperinflation. So they're they're priming the pump right now. So get ready for it. I, that's what I see, whether it's going to happen or not. I don't know. Now, we had that big move in the euro and it's backed off just like we expected to do. We went up and made that that big ABCD up there at that one at 11480. And now we're starting to back off a little bit. So these are things that are telling us that we got to get ready next week because we're going to be rocking and rolling. We're going to see some real serious stuff happening in these things. So uh, just keep your powder dry. There's going to be a lot of good things going on as we look at these markets uh, coming out into the uh, out into the future. Um, and that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. If you have any questions, wait till Monday. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless.